With all of these rate hike announcements, inflation is still high, well above interest rates, which means that as the system is brought to its knees, the world still lives in a mostly negative yielding environment when adjusted for inflation. This is music to the ears of investors who understand that when the Fed finally capitulates, especially if their policies inadvertently usher in a mild recession, the prices of gold and silver stand to potentially rally to new all-time highs. We've found what we feel is the most attractive and undervalued gold company in the world. Its name is Gold Mining Incorporated. Now why use gold mining? What if I told you that you could buy gold for just $2.59 per ounce of gold? Now before I show you the mathematics on how I got to this conclusion, let me first talk a bit about the company, which is a company that is publicly traded listed on the New York Stock Exchange in the U.S. Ticker symbol is GLDG, and on the stock exchanges in Canada, listed under the ticker symbol gold. And to find out more information into this company then head over to their website goldmining.com. Gold Mining Incorporated is a company that was founded by Amir Adnani and if you're familiar with Amir, he is an investor that has founded several uranium companies, and they've been some of the biggest winners over the last couple of years. UC and Euroi, they're up 400%. So Amir's ability to get companies off the ground and its managerial style and skills have Gold Mining Incorporated set up to be one of the better performing gold stocks in the coming bull market, which is anticipated and expected for commodities such as gold and silver as we continue on into this high inflationary period. So if you are curious as to how I came up with that $2.59 per ounce of gold, the math is 123 minus 50 is equal to 83 and the 83 million U.S. dollars in assets are the 32-meter gold equivalent ounces spanned throughout the company's 14 projects in five countries. If you divide the 32M ounces of gold by the 83 million dollars the market is valuing them at, you reach $2.59 per ounce of gold. In comparison, deals in 2022 are signed for around $50 an ounce. Which means that if Amir and Alistair, the CEO of Gold Mining Incorporated, wanted to sell these, they'd ask for over a billion dollars for the gold equivalent resources that they own. One more thing that I wanted to know about Gold Mining Incorporated is at the time of this video, the third quarter ended and Gold Mining Incorporated US, GLDG, shares are trading at 0.82 US dollars per share. When we take a look at that, and then we look at a couple analysts that have covered Gold Mining Incorporated and look at their price targets, you can see how undervalued this company really is. Here you can see H.C. Wayne Wright and Company. Rated Gold Mining Incorporated and it gave it a price target of $5.75. They also later revised that by rating and up the price target to $6 a month later in August of 2021. So analysts are super bullish about the stock and with all of the catalysts as far as gold, silver, commodities with the high inflationary period that we're in and the tightening that the Fed is doing is setting up many of these gold companies, especially the well-run gold companies like Gold Mining Incorporated, here to be set up for a massive upside share price potential. Again, guys, remember, I am not a financial advisor and I highly advise you to do your own research, but I'm telling you that when you put in the work and look at all of the gold companies currently trading in the public markets, Gold Mining Incorporated, U.S., GLDG stands supreme, in my opinion. Something else I like to look at and look into when looking at small cap micro cap companies is who are the investors that are also looking into the company? Are there institutional investors? Are there big name investors that are also involved with the company? And in the case of Gold Mining Incorporated, that is very much the case in a major way. You have BlackRock Incorporated. That is invested into Gold Mining Incorporated, which if you know anything about BlackRock, when they get involved in any of their investments, they very, very rarely fail on investing. And you also have high-profile investors like Rick Rule and also Doug Casey who are also invested into Gold Mining Incorporated. So to me these are things to look for with smaller companies that are a bit more unknown because when you see investors of this caliber investing, that should also build a little bit more confidence that this is a well-run company and a company worth considering when you have this caliber of investors. Furthermore, for close to a decade, management was accumulating assets and building an inventory 
company with one of the largest gold resource portfolios of any junior. Once their CEO, Alastair Still, joined them, the focus has shifted gears to stage two, which is to unlock the value of the 14 projects by unbundling the package and finding ways to monetize their portfolios. This strategy birthed the spin-out of GROI, which was ultra-successful and will lead to the highly anticipated IPO of U.S. Gold Mining Incorporated to be announced at some point in the near future, according to the company. I believe it could become the cheapest ever gold company in the world if the project the subsidiary will hold, the Whistler Project in Alaska, is priced similarly to Estelle. So in summary, I want to briefly, simply, and succinctly explain why I love this company. I like the management. It's someone who has experience with elevating companies and taking care of shareholders. And also, as stated, the fact that this company is in the right market at the right time and proven investors are also involved into this company. Also Gold Mining US, GLDG, expects to receive roughly $1 million in dividend cash flow per year. That puts it in a category of its own. I've been in this business for 13 years, and I can tell you that non-producers that receive $4 million Canadian dollars in annual income are non-existent. This is a game-changer. So what are you waiting for? Go check them out in the link in the description where you can go to their website, go to the investor portal, pull up their investor presentation, do a deep dive into the company, see if it's a company that you might want to put on your watch list, potentially invest in to add it to your portfolio. And with that all being said, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I hope you guys are having a great week. Till next time, thanks for watching Daily Dose Crypto. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell notification. Thank you for watching Daily Dose Crypto.